How are you proposing that your client makes nothing? How does she live on, on nothing? She doesn't get child support. She doesn't get anything. You're claiming that she has zero income. Branham versus Bussing, both parties are present, as well as attorney Victoria Lynn on behalf of the defendant mother. There's a one-year-old child here. This is mother's motion to consolidate cases and her child support and whatnot. My understanding is that there was a DS case filed by the prosecutor's office some time ago, but was dismissed. In dealing with your first issue of consolidating, I can't consolidate with a case that's dismissed. End of story. I mean, there, there's nothing to consolidate. The case was dismissed uh, August 8th, I believe, uh, through an order of the court. It's dismissed. So there's nothing to consolidate. Your Honor, if I may, the reasoning behind that motion to consolidate is that Ms. Bussing was relying on the prosecutor's office. I understand office. that. You can make that argument if you want, but but bottom line is I can't consolidate with a case that's dismissed. Okay. As to, um, it is a retroactivity issue, though, in that she's looking for child support retroactive to the date that Kent County Prosecutor Office filed that action. So could we, um, I guess, ask for child support to be retroactive to that date? I don't um I don't believe that I can go back or do I do I intend to go back. She filed a case and asked for child support. When did you you ask for child support starting? Well you asked for it when? Must yeah, we last month. No, yeah, it started last month. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm all, I will send it to the friend of the court for a child support recommendation on this. We can deal with the retroactive um, nature of it. It was certainly would not go back very far. It certainly will probably go till when you filed the motion, which was August 20. Um, the best it'll do is probably go back to August 1st, but that's something you can argue when we get the child support um, recommendation from the friend of the court, because I don't, I don't have any idea. How, how are you proposing that your client makes nothing? How does she live? On, on nothing. She doesn't get child support. She doesn't get anything. You're claiming that she has zero income. Right. And that's something if we refer to front of the court, she can provide some more information to front of the court at that point. Uh, well, I'm asking you because you're asking for attorney's fees based on her making nothing. That means she has a child at home that she has no income for. And I can't imagine that that's true because she's living in a house. Right. Who's yeah. Providing and, her, who's providing that house. Right. I believe there's some public assistance in this case as well as um, help of her parents. So, yeah, so there is. And believe me, she's going to be imputed. Uh, there, she can't just sit at home. And make nothing. So um, as far as the motion to consolidate the cases, obviously, I'm denying that because there's nothing to consolidate it with. You can make your argument as to why it should go back for a while, but um, we'll see uh, when the front of the court recommendation, both parties need to cooperate with front of the court recommendation. I can reserve attorney's fees. I'm not going to uh, give you any right now because I don't know how much he makes. And literally, um, you're, you're putting in here that she makes absolutely nothing. And I know she's not living on nothing. And I... Uh, whether it's a free house and, and that kind of stuff, that can be considered as, as income um, if she's getting a rent paid for her and, and whatever is going on. So um, I'll reserve attorney's fees. I'll refer, I'll make the referral to the friend of the court. If you wish to file an uh, order saying that um, you know, I reserve attorney's fees, that's fine. Mr. Branham, anything you wish to add to this or subtract or whatever? Not at this time. I mean, you're going to end up having to pay child support and it's probably going to be like either. I mean, it certainly will be starting at the latest will be August 20. Uh, so you're going to be behind in child support. I suggest you start paying some sort of child support or you're going to be in arrears as soon as we enter this order. But if you do, you should make sure that you pay it in a manner through Miss Lynn, maybe <laughs> that says uh, I'm paying one hundred dollars now. Uh, I want credit for child support so that you get credit. I, if you just give her cash or something, you're not necessarily going to get credit for child support. So on that note, I would like to state that with the paperwork we've submitted to the court, there's listed nearly $2,000 between the end of March and when the paperwork was filed in the middle of April that I have sent in support of my child. You're going to have to work that out. I don't know what, I'm not making a ruling on that right now, but you understand 
you need to make sure that you give them credit for it. All right. And any other money that's sent, I'm telling you, you need to make sure that uh, maybe you need to send it to Miss Lynn and say this is child support. All right. Do you understand? Yeah. What you're yes. Miss Lynn, anything you want to add? Um, yes, we would be happy to take care of that if he wants to provide child support to our office. Um, thank you for reserving um, attorney fees. And then um, your honor, will you stated you'll prepare the referral to a friend of the court order. That correct. That's correct. Okay, thank right. you. You're going to get stuff in the front of the court. You guys got to uh, abide by it or else they're going to make decisions without your input. All right. Thank you very much. We're adjourned. Thank you, your honor. Thank you.